Thanks for clicking on my video. This isn't just clickbait. I'm going to show you how I got my car back up and running for only 82 cents. So one of the main reasons why your battery won't help your car start is because the fluid levels are too low. But it's okay. I'm going to show you how to get your battery the juice for only 82 cents. So now that you've checked your battery's fluid level and you've noticed that they're too low, let's go ahead and hop in. We're going to remove the two bolts that you see circled in this video. So we're going to use the same sand we've been hearing for years, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Make sure when you take off your bolts, you put them in a safe place because you're going to need to put them back on. So using a 10 millimeter socket, go ahead and start removing those bolts. So go ahead and make sure when you remove any wiring that it doesn't touch anything else. So the last thing you want to do is save hundreds of dollars to have to spend it at the hospital. During this segment of the video, you're going to see me remove an orange wire. Many of you may not have that and it's okay. Still remove the bolt from that side of the battery. So after removing the two bolts that were circled earlier in the video and getting your connector wires out of the way, you're going to go ahead and use distilled water to clean off the battery area. My cleaning tool of choice is one of Cam's old toothbrushes. However, if you don't have an old toothbrush, you can go ahead and use a napkin or a towel. That'll work just fine. If you chose to use a toothbrush in the area as well, go ahead and take either a napkin or a towel and wipe down the excess dirt from the area. If your battery looks similar to mine, then you just go ahead and use a screwdriver to remove all six of the screws that are on top of the battery. However, if your battery does not look like mine and you don't see the electrolyte access areas, go ahead and comment and I'll let you know how to access yours. What you can see here is me removing any excess dirt that was in between the screw and where it was screwed into and this helps to keep your battery free from any gunk so that way it doesn't overheat. Although I'm normally not a person who likes to wear gloves when I'm working on a car, I just want to express how important it is to wear gloves anytime you're working on your car's battery. You do not want to get any of the electrolytes from your battery onto your skin. It will burn you. So here is me showing you a view of what it looked like while my battery electrolyte levels were low. What you can see here is me using a bucket to rinse off the funnel that I'm going to use to fill each one of my electrolyte access holes. Be sure that the water you're using is distilled water. Using the funnel, add just a little bit of the distilled water to each one of your electrolyte access holes. It's very important that you only use distilled water to do this. Regular water or tap water contain minerals that will ruin your battery. Be sure 
sure that as you add the distilled water, you check your battery's electrolyte levels just like I showed you earlier in the video. If you do end up overfilling your battery, just use a turkey baster that you rinse off in distilled water to remove some of the excess fluid. What you see here is me again removing any excess debris from the battery area. And this is me just giving you a view of what it looks like now that my battery electrolyte levels are where they should be. The next step is to go ahead and clean off each one of your battery electrolyte screws just to make sure you're not putting any more debris into the area. After removing any debris, go ahead and screw them back into the battery. Here's me just giving you a view of what one of the screws looked like before I cleaned them. Make sure when you're replacing the screws, you don't screw them in too tight. We know you've been at the gym, but now isn't your time to shine. Here's yet another view of me using just a little bit of distilled water, one of Kim's old toothbrushes, and a napkin to clean off the battery area. It is especially important to make sure you get the battery area dry after using the distilled water because since this is a place where electricity goes, it doesn't mix well with water. And here's a view of my battery all clean. After making sure my battery area was all dry, since my battery was completely dead, the next step was to go ahead and recharge my battery. If you don't own one of these rechargers, it's okay. It's free at AutoZone, Auto Parts, or O'Reilly's. And since your battery isn't connected, just go ahead and take it down so they can recharge it for you. If you are using your own battery recharger at home, I just want to remind you that red goes to the positive terminal and black goes to the negative terminal. If you did use your own battery recharger, now is the time to go ahead and disconnect it from your battery. Your next step, rather you chose to recharge your battery yourself or to take it to one of your local auto parts stores, is to replace those bolts that you once removed. You're going to see me replacing an orange wire. Again, many of you do not have this and it's okay. Skip that step, but still replace the bolts. hand first go ahead and put the bolt back on and twist it remember righty tighty lefty loosey 
and I'll use this time to remind you to subscribe to my channel so that you can see many other money saving DIYs just like this one. After first hand tightening your bolt, go ahead and use a 10 millimeter socket to finish the rest of the tightening process. Again, we know that you're in the gym, now isn't the time to show it. Don't forget to replace your connector before you tighten up your bolt. Remembering to hand tighten your bolt first and then using righty tighty to use your 10 millimeter socket to go ahead and finish the tightening process. Being sure to give both of your connectors a little wiggle to make sure there's no movement, go ahead and replace your battery cover. Although my battery started on the first try, many of you may have to give it a second try. Hope to see you all again next time. Don't let anyone tell you that it's a must that you replace your car battery because you too can fix the one you have.